How to open the chlorella cell. Hi, Bob McCauley, owner of the Watershed Wellness Center, watershed.net. Chlorella is a green algae. It's the most powerful food in the world. And the outer uh, shell of this chlorella cell is a dietary fiber that is great for digestion. It binds with heavy metals and synthetics other synthetic toxins and pulls them out of the body. Incredible stuff, but you got to open that up to get at the nutrients inside. All of the chlorella coming into the United States has to be cracked or open cell chlorella by FDA regulation. So all of it coming in has to be opened. Uh, one method that's used is called Dynamil. Uh, this was developed back in the 1970s originally for the meat industry to tenderize meat. And then somebody started using it for chlorella. It's very effective. Effective. You've got these little glass beads are about two millimeters. Uh, inside, there's thousands of, them, thousands of these little glass beads and a big drum, and the drum spins, and that breaks open in the chlorella cell wall. But, you know, that technology is about 40 years old. The uh, So it's, it's a little bit antiquated. It's a bit of a dinosaur, if you don't mind. Um, you know, uh, first of all, there's potential for lead contamination, uh, tiny shards of glass getting in with the chlorella. Uh, there's a little bit of that danger. Um, you know, but the main problem with it is that you pulverize the chlorella, and a lot of people really like that. They like the idea that it's been pulverized, but that's not a good thing because you've destroyed the cell's membrane, the chloroplast, the mitochondria, and the nucleus. And these are these are nutrients that should stay intact, you know, when you digest them, so they go onto the body altogether. And you've also, uh, you know, opened up the cell to immediate oxidation, and that's you decrease the shelf life. Um, a significantly, significantly de decrease the, the shelf life. A state-of-the-art method used today is something called pressure release, where the chlorella moves at a very high speed, and then it goes through a, a chamber that is very high pressure. So it goes from low pressure to high pressure, back to low pressure in just a millisecond. And what that does is it ruptures the chl chlorella cell. It doesn't uh, explode it. Uh, and the chlorella cell remains intact along with the cell membrane, chloroplast, mitochondria, and nucleus. It's much better for digestion. One of the main things, though, is that it is not open uh, to oxidation. You don't have, nothing comes in contact with the chlorella cell, so you don't have any problem with, uh, you know, lead contamination from uh, the glass, any glass shards maybe getting into the chlorella. Um, and, of course, the oxidation. You don't have the oxidation. You have a much better shelf life. So uh, as far as, uh, you know, nutrient absorption or availability, bioavailability, uh, both method methods are good. But keeping that cell intact, I think, is better, in my opinion, for nutrient absorption. So of the two, uh, Dynamil, which is kind of a dinosaur, uh, you know, 40 years old or more now, uh, you know, kind of antiquated. It's more of a marketing tool than anything else. Or pressure release. This is state of the art, and this is the best way to open the chlorella cell without any doubt.